and we've got ourselves a little baby rose. No, what's happening? Why? Why? Hey, my little Futuroonies, and welcome back to another day in the wonderful and weird life of my mint sim, my mint berry sim, who also, well, she had a bit of a, a bit of a hectic last episode because she just here vibing, having a little nip nap on her sofa. But last episode, not only did she realize that she was pregnant at the beginning of the episode, she also got engaged. She's currently in trimester two. She's eating for two. She's feeling a deep connection with Chris, which is great. She's got a text from Jason congratulating her on her engagement as well. And she also has bad breath. Okay, okay that, that one is not quite as good. good. But it was a pretty epic last episode. So I've been checking the comments as always. You guys are giving me a bunch of tips in order to make sure, like, I know you don't need a girl to continue on this challenge. You don't have to have, oh, wow. Jason's just like literally standing his heart right now. He's just happy that our life is going well. I oh. Oh, Maria's great. I'm glad I got to know them. I forgot we were trying to like set Maria up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like we got her a partner. No, it wasn't Javier. I know I said that wrong a million times. I'm sorry. Was it? No, it wasn't Trent. Who did we set her up with? Wasn't Jeffrey. Everyone's got spouses. Jeez. Vernon here is wearing an Allie hoodie. I cannot remember who we set her up with, but she's with someone now and that's great for her. So you guys were giving me a bunch of tips to make sure that we end up with a girl. Like I said, I don't need a girl, but I feel like a little rose girl would be just really cute. So you guys said pop music as well as strawberries. I kind of knew the strawberries thing, but I totally forgot about the pop music thing. So I'm going to go ahead and buy her a little stereo so that we can do some vibes and listen to some pop music. And of course it has to be green. Actually mint. And okay, I can't afford a mint one. Change of plan. It can be any color. Oh wait, that's pretty minty. Oh my gosh. Yes. Perfect. Okay, nice. I can put it next to my huge rose crystal, which I actually may make a little bit smaller. But that way, it's kind of like, you know, can't move it for some reason. Okay, whatever. We'll just put it there. It's kind of right in front of Rose. It's like channeling Rose energy. I feel like this is a good idea. Christopher's still not living with us. He does have a key. We are engaged. I don't know. We might be one of these couples that doesn't actually ever live together until they get engaged. It's a risky strategy, but I kind of like the challenge of a living on our own. I like the single wage grind, you know? But um, I mean, once we have a baby, things are about to get a lot harder. So maybe we have to ask Chris to move in with us. If you guys actually would like to see Chris move in, please let me know in the comments now. And if you do want that, then we'll do it at the beginning of the next episode. And oh my gosh, I see a kitty cat aging up. I see a kitty cat aging up, doing some glitters on the floor. <gasps> Polo! Polo is aging to a kitty cat. Yes, look at you. You are not fluffy enough. We can change that though, don't worry. Polo is growing from a kitten to an adult. She'll now climb stairs as well as hopping onto resting high flat surfaces. She can also make with other cats if she isn't spayed. No, I'm pregnant. I'm not having you be pregnant as well, Polo. It's just too many. It's just too many. Okay, I like floofy cats. So I think we should go for a more floof level of floof. Oh, look how thick she is now. Oh, yes. As you can probably tell by my own cuts, which are, let's face it, thick. Thick boys. I feel like Polo should be thick as well. There's two levels thick. However, this one has like the actual fur drawn on it and it looks more textured and I like that. So also, I like to experiment with like new hairs in the thumbnail <laughs> when I'm making it for the next episode. And I really liked this one that I used in the thumbnail. So I feel like when you're pregnant, life is already hard enough without adding a fringe into the mix. I know. Oh, she looks beautiful with it though, let's face it. But fringes are hard work, okay? Fringes are tough. Fringes are tough. I know as an ex-fringe user that fringes are tough. I also kind of vibe this one because it's just kind of that sort of like, I don't know. I, I actually quite like the laid back nature of this like wavy hair vibes. Oh, look at her pregnant tum tum. But also it kind of feels like, you know, she's pregnant. She's not about making ponytails and curling fringes. She's just leaving her hair. She's just letting it vibe. But I also really like the one we use in the thumbnail. So I'm going to use that one instead. And then in the thumbnail for the next episode, I will experiment with one that we'll be using for the next one. No, in the thumbnail for this episode, she might have a completely different hair altogether. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so it was this hair right here. Okay, so she's just scooping her hair back into like a little, little sleuth thing here because, you know, she's pregnant. Life do be hard. We ain't got time for fringes, you know. We're, we're hopefully, hopefully gonna have ourselves a wee babby girl. Oh, Christopher Texan has been congrats about the promotion. Did that happen last episode too? Jeez, I just nailed last episode, didn't I? Okay, so the other thing I was kind of thinking would be cute. I'm trying to work out where I can fit it though. 
though. I might have to shift my house along a little bit because I wanted to build like a little area on the side where we could grow plants, but also have them all seasons. I have $154. I'm clearly thinking way above my station at this point because I cannot afford that. But I thought that we could grow strawberries to eat. Obviously, it's not going to work. Oh, who's this? Who is just walking into my house? Why do people keep doing this? What update has caused this? I'm sorry, but get out of my house. Stop reading about bears. I don't know who you are. With your little clay hair, be gone. Bye. As if he's just done that. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and say no trespassing. Disallow neighbors and also just disallow these solicitors as well. And she's pregnant, so I'll do, I'll do dishwashers and stuff for her. The house is a bit of a state, babes. It is a bit of a state. You're also feeling sad. I'm going to be a terrible parent. My child will hate me. Only if you don't brush your teeth and breathe horrible morning breath onto them because we all hate that. And also your shower's broken. And also you don't have a mirror, so you actually can't brush your teeth. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need a get rich quick scheme kind of like right now, please. You're going to have to repair that shower yourself because you cannot afford to get someone in because then we'll have like $20 to our name. And I don't want that for us. How can I get rich quick? There's got to be some way I can make some monies quickly. Oh, do I have any excess crystals to sell? <gasps> Get all of this to the Geo Council. And then I can sell some of my refined stuff. Oh my gosh, I got five of these to open as well. I don't want to collect those creepy dolls this time, so I might just sell them. Um, we also got some little treasure maps too. I also have three strands of Christopher Lannis' DNA, which makes me look really creepy and really weird. So we just won't talk about that. Oh, she's having a bit of a depresso shower fix. She's not enjoying this whole pregnancy, Larky. Her boobs are huge. Jeez. Go say hi to your new, like, uh, old big, big floofy cat. It's all grown up now. And open all the years. I'll get us some money. Don't even move. Christopher's here! Christopher! Have we told him that we're pregnant? No, we haven't. Okay, Christopher, we have some news. We got some news for you, babes. Why can't we announce pregnancy? I feel like this should be a thing that she's able to do. Share big news. Okay, there we go. She's got that. When she's finished playing laser pointer, because that is more important. Okay, she's just vibing around in her little mint PJs, but once we tell him the news, I'm sure he will understand. Christopher, we are with child. The child is yours. Okay, that is that is happy. Okay, sometimes they do a different face afterwards, but I feel like he's just genuinely very hyped about that. This little sensible head outfit on. Don't worry, we'll give you a makeover if you do move into the house, so take that into consideration if you are voting as to whether, or comment in as to whether Christopher should move in. Oh, and the cat's scratching the bed. Christopher, don't just sit there and watch it. Tell it off. Oh, he's told it off. Oh. <gasps> He's told it off calmly. Okay, I feel like Christopher could actually be a good dad, which does kind of low-key make me want to maybe move him in because I feel like he'll be helpful. We can keep him around if he's going to be helpful, you know? And let's sell these ugly little dolls. Also got a bunch of robots salvaged. Sell that. Okay, so we've got $459. That is not enough for cute conservatory vibes at all. Like, not even not even close. I could sell this as well. Oh, $60. Jeez. You don't get much, do you? <gasps> oh, what? What is that? Artwork. What did you get that from? <gasps> is it like a plant thing? Oh, have you got Oh my gosh, it's freak. Oh, it sells. It's plant cells. I think she must have got it from work. Oh, as much as I'd like to sell that, not only have I got it from work, but it's also green. I feel like I just can't. I just can't do that, guys. That would just... It ain't right, okay? I gotta display that because I feel like she would be all about that life. She'd be like, yes, this is a plant cell. I am a scientist. I am green. I like green stuff. This is all going together nicely and I would like that in my house. So I'm gonna allow her to keep that. I wonder if she could make stuff and sell it. She could make synthetic food and sell that and just tinker an experiment. Okay. I'm like, how can I make money? Forgetting that I'm an amazing scientist. Also, I need to be listening to pop music. I totally forgot about that. Okay, let's listen to some pop, please. Oh, $100. Yes. Okay, I will become a potion seller. Okay, Chris has left, which is sad because I thought we could dance around the kitchen listening to pop music together. And that would be kind of a cute vibe, like an excited for the baby vibe. But he was like, nah, I'm leaving now. Bye. By the way, you look nice today, though. So he dropped his little compliment before he left, which is lovely. But we're getting that pop music. Listen to the pop music. I wish you could pick your pets up and dance around with them. You know, not, not that I do that in real life or anything. I totally do. So it would be nice to be able to do it in this as well. Look, she's feeling fearless. I will be the best parent. My child will love me so much. Yes, Minzy. We love that. A bit of self-confidence about your future parenting skills. Oh my gosh, I got an element from experimenting. This is so and look, she keeps getting this, so much of this. This is almost like a broken system because I can just like watch, continually sell this. And it makes us so much money. Okay, I found, I have found a loophole. I found a way to just make a bunch of money very easily. I mean, kind of feels cheaty, but I'm not cheating. I ain't cheating, okay? I'm just doing what the game allows. Okay, I have a thousand dollars. Shall I try and create my cute dream house? Uh, my cute greenhouse even? Look, if I just move this over a little bit, let's see here. And then I was thinking just like a little greenhouse on the side here would look so freaking 
thank you. I did like kind of low-key forget how expensive building is in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Even a wall is really expensive. I kind of like the idea of those, like, you know, the old school, like, Victorian greenhouses. They're really cute, but I have this bit at the end that it won't fit on, so. Sometimes. <gasps> this would look cute, though. <gasps> Okay, I know this is a lot of windows, but it's meant to be a greenhouse and I kind of feel like it looks cute. Ah, I've run out of money. Okay, I have six dollars. <laughs> However, it will look cute. I, I will put a glass roof on top. It's really big. Is that a big greenhouse for such a teeny tiny house? Maybe. <gasps> also, this bit's already glass. Okay, we'll probably change that from being glass. Should I do it like one narrower? Maybe that makes more sense, you know? Like, it shouldn't be that big. We'll see. Okay, I'll just leave it like that for now and we'll just see. We'll just like sit and vibe with it for a bit and see how we feel about it, okay? Right now, it's 1.29 in the morning. You need to get to sleep because you will be waking up into your second trimester of your pregnancy, which means you're going to be bigger, which means you might be waking up with morning sickness into your bathroom without any tiles on the floor. So your little feet will probably be getting all like stubbed and you'll get a little concrete in between your toes and that won't be very nice for you. I feel like you need good sleep ready for your horrible start. Oh, yep. Here we go. Really has to pee. <gasps> and morning sickness. The combo. The double combo. Off you go, last. No, don't. Why would you use your brush for it? You've got a bathroom. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. She's happy pee again now. She'd be vibing. She'd be vibing and peeing and vibing. Ah, oh, there we have it. The morning sickness as well. And it's green. It matches the challenge. Yay. Oh, wow. That's gross. Okay, please immediately clean that. Good loss. Good loss. I didn't even have to tell her. We were on track for promotion today. However, I am kind of low-key worried that might not happen because I feel like we're getting into a bit of a recce kind of day. Feels like we've already woken up in the wreck vibes. So... I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, she's eating salad, listening to pop music. Combo it, no. Okay, she can't eat because she feels too sick. Instead, she's, oh, look at this little green dream team. The green dream team, so cute. Don't worry, you'll still be baby even when we have baby, okay? You're still gonna be a baby. Hi, Minzy, we'd love to have you join the social climbers. What do you think? The social climbers? Well, I mean, we're doing the interested in NPC vibe, so okay. I guess I'm a member of the social climbers. I have bills that I can't pay. Do you want to come no cool hair however no i've got work like geez do you guys just sit around and chill all day okay look at this club look at this club <gasps> little simsy's in this club what <laughs> little simsy's literally in this club with me what that's so cool okay cameron is the leader of the club we'll take that from you and we just need the promotion so that we can decorate our house that is let's face it what this is all about here that is what the plan is today however we're also pregnant and hungry so that plan might have to go on hold oh someone else has left leftovers in the fridge okay i feel really bad doing this however if there's a faux blt in there oh i made it myself oh, okay then there's no no need to feel guilty at all is there i'd be taking that i need to invent a satellite dish and practice analysis okay let's invent oh i can't make it <sighs> okay oh i sold everything okay please give me stuff gang please please give me things oh chris is sick okay chris no don't you be being sick how will you be on baby duty if you're sick okay look over has given us a bunch of stuff if i invent a satellite dish can i like get sky can i like get more channels on my tv is that how it works will i be able to get westworld game of thrones Sky Atlantic, can I do that? Oh, and I just realized we're kind of doing the pregnancy walk now. You know where they like lean back a little bit because the tum tum, the tum tum is out in full force. Uh, that's fine. Do a little waddle for yourself. She is looking kind of big. Like, it's round. It's very round. In my head, if it's shaped like an egg, it's a girl. And if it's shaped like a football, it's a boy. But then if it's big, it's like triplets, which I don't want. My game loves to give me triplets. However, I... Oh, no, we're feeling depressed again. Oh, no. I'm going to be a terrible parent. No, stop going down this. Stop going down this road. My game loves to give me triplets. I hate having triplets. I hate them. Um, Don't want them. No, thank you. Not for me. Thanks. No, thanks. And boom, we've invented a satellite dish. Practice some of your analysis, please. Contact aliens. What? <gasps> That's what the satellite dish is for. It's to contact aliens? Wait, where is it? <gasps> what? Okay, that might be cooler than getting Game of Thrones and Westworld. Fair enough. Prevent abductions. <gasps> contact aliens. Neighborhood hive mind. <gasps> no freaking way. Oh, I can make everybody happy. Oh, that's so nice. Definitely do that. And then let's contact aliens. And we're bringing this home with us because it's green. Again, she keeps she keeps inventing green things. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Did we just make a happy town? I feel like we did. 
<gasps> Everyone in the town seems so friendly, apart from me, for some reason. I do be feeling sad. <gasps> this will bring aliens around us. Maybe they'll even abduct us. Oh, no. I, if you could just not do that, that would be great because I'm pregnant. And, like, you know, it's a stressful time already. The last thing I need is, you know, a bit of probing. So, yeah, if you can, if you guys would mind just, like, not. If just you, you just mind just not abducting me for, just for a bit. That would be fantastic. Imagine if Rose was actually an alien. Whoa. I need to go and tinker on this PC. So I'll go do that. And then have a chit chat with Dara. Why am I humiliated? <gasps> you feel so fat, babes. No, you're pregnant. Don't let anybody tell you that you're fat. You're pregnant, babes. Who is Jaden? Who is this dude? <gasps> is this Maria's? No. I honest to God can't remember who we've set Maria up with. I feel bad, but I can't remember. Miserable. <gasps> oh, the baby kicked. The baby kicked her. She's hungry. She's got jealousy pangs. Oh, no. She's feeling a lot, guys. However, she got her first kick. The baby kicked. It kicked our tum tum. Are you kidding? Oh, you're too miserable to do anything. Okay, she's too miserable to do anything right now. Okay, fine. Go eat again, babes. You're pregnant. Eat as much as you want. I've just come in and taken Chris's lunch off him. I'm like, Chris, shut up. I'm pregnant. It's uncomfortable. This is my salad now, okay? And I'm gonna have to stay late. I'm gonna have to stay late because I really need money for promotions and I need to buy stuff for the baby. My body, it's terrible. What will happen to Minzy's figure? She's got a little piggy emote here. Oh, Minzy. Poor baby. Work on rocket. Oh, I forgot she's doing a rocket now as well, isn't she? Oh, she's desperate for a wee. How many times are you going to need to wee today? Oh, the baby's kicking our bladder. I swear to God. But I need to buy so much baby stuff and I wasted everything on pretty windows. <gasps> oh, she just got another one in before the end of the day. Oh, okay. We did not get promoted. I needed that money. I needed that money, okay? Go for a wee before you wee yourself and say hello to Polo. Complain about your problems to your car. That's very normal behavior. Okay, I'm gonna gain some money back by... No, should I put a doorway? Should I put an archway? Where do I put these little... I've got a lot to fit everywhere. Maybe we'll put that there. And then I can move these along to here. And then I can temporarily just move this outside because I want to put a little archway here. <gasps> And then it's an archway into Los Greenhouse Hermanos. And then put a little lighty in there. But now I've done it, I'm like, do I... Do I really want a greenhouse? I don't know. I like the idea of it being like a little vibe room just to be vibey. But maybe I can put some little planters in there. Maybe we can do it as a little bit of a mix, you know? <gasps> I can get a chicken coop or as Tascabaz would say, a chicken co-op. <laughs> but look, I can grow stuff in these. I really wanted to grow a rose. And I thought it would be like a super cute... That's blue, not green. So I'm just going to go for like this brown one instead. I thought it would be like a super cute gift for like my child. Like, oh, look, I've been growing roses for you since before you was even born. Like, that's cute, right? Oh, I could do one of these as well because you can grow on this, can't you? Okay, I think this has got vibey energy. I'll add more to it over time. Like, oh, here is a watering can. But right now I'm kind of low on money and I still haven't given it a glass roof. Because I'm going to have to make this one back into like this kind of vibes. It looks so messy and gross, but whatever. And then I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one. Hmm. I don't know if I hate it or not yet. But why don't we just give it a chance? Let's just give it a chance. We are down to $6, so it ain't got no chance right now. But you guys are seeing what I'm trying to do. This is the weirdest house I've ever seen. But it's kind of charming and it's a tiny house. It's fun. <gasps> and I've just realized, one, I can sell that up. But two, go and get your mail, babes, because I feel like you're going to have a lot. <gasps> Okay, have we got any more for this collection? Please, 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 please. Nope. 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 <laughs> Where did that one go in? Or did I just put it on the floor somewhere? Okay, I don't know where that one went. No. Oh, that, did that one go in? I don't know what's happening to half of these, I swear. Man, the final of these is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? I've still got three gaps. Three gaps. However, I feel like that one's new. Octipin, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's sell all these strange elements. Because we're going to need money for cribs and whatnot. So right now, I have no idea where the baby's going to go. The baby, at this point, honestly, might be going in the conservatory. So, yeah. <laughs> I want to get things growing all around the walls at some point. But the baby might just have to vibe in the kitchen. I don't know. We have a whole room dedicated to just showing off elements, you know? You want to go and troll the web forums. Okay, I will allow that. You are mischievous, so it makes total sense. And it's going to make you feel better. So knock yourself out, babes. And we'll do a chain letter as well because... They actually come. I'm going to send it to Cameron because I'm going to start hazing her, basically. But they actually count as uh, pranks. So that's pretty good. And I've done 8 out of 10 so far. 9 out of 10. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, I'll just do one more now and then I'll finish that. <gasps> she says we're going to be in big trouble. I'm going to take your club from you, Cameron. Even though you've got really nice hair. And this should complete this part of the Chief of Mischief. <gasps> 
Yes, milestone complete. Clog drains at three different homes. Oh my gosh, what? Reform voodoo five times? Achieve level 10 in the mischief school? Why is this one so hard? Why do I have to start doing voodoo? That's a bit much, isn't it? Surely. How do I even get a voodoo doll? I've had one before. And I think I dig it up from the ground. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for patches. Because apparently I need to start doing voodoo dolls. So, yeah. And we're going to check Travis 3 in four hours time. <gasps> oh my gosh, if it keeps snowing like this, we can tell Rose that she was born on a snowy day. Okay, time for the normal morning wee and little vom sesh. Nice, beautiful, love to see it. Minzy can now take family leave. However, we want that promotion because it's going to decorate my house. So we won't be taking family leave. Okay, promotion day today. Let's do this. I'm actually going to use today as a good reason to analyze Chris's DNA because I've used him for my baby. So I feel like, you know, I'm allowed to check. I'm allowed to just check out what the DNA is saying. Why are you tired? Wait, you're not tired. You're just exhausted or you're ready to pop. You want the pregnancy to end. It could end today. It could end today. Tomorrow is actually Winterfest. So the baby might be born on Christmas day, which would be really cool. So I'm kind of low-key hoping that happens. <gasps> Minzy knows all the traits. Ah, oh, so if you analyze the DNA, you know all the traits. I see, I see, I see. Oh, so look, look how gross. Look how gross Maria left this. And then she went and worked on that one. And now I have to clean it in order to be able to use it. Oh no, I'm about to wee myself. Jeez. Pregnant ladies are really hard to look after. Okay, yet again, she's just zooming through these tasks. And honestly, just being an absolute joy to work with. I feel we've got to get promoted today. We're going to get promoted and have our baby on Christmas day. That is what is going to happen, okay? Nobody better mess with my plans. Leave Least of all aliens, okay? If aliens mess with my plans, I'm gonna be really mad. We have to have a deep conversation with Maria. I've realized that I can now do the feel the baby thing. So I'm gonna try and find Chris and ask if he would like to feel his child. There you go. You get to, he's feeling down as well. So maybe this will cheer him up a little bit. Look, you can feel your baby if you would like. Oh, exciting. Look at the little, little science romance. I love this. Okay, now please give me a crystal as payment. Thank you. It wants me to contact aliens again. I just really don't feel like this is wise, but okay. Oh, she's too busy talking with the robot anyway. Okay, promotion, promotion, promotion. Please give me a promotion. Yes, I'm a technological innovator. I now make $72 an hour. I got a bunch of money. I got a test tube pedestal. I got new clothes. Um, my next shift is on Wednesday because we've got obviously- Oh wait, tomorrow's Christmas. I ain't coming in on Christmas. You guys can't, but I don't care about work that much. And oh my gosh, she's gonna be born in a snowy day. Okay, I'm gonna invite Christopher around because I would like somebody with me um, when she potentially goes into labor. Oh, what? I've called to inform you that your great, great, great second one's removed cousin's friend's grandpa's passed away for some reason and left you a vast fortune. Yes, I will take that money. However, you'll only get this money if you be married in the next seven days. Okay, the game do be shipping. The game do be shipping these two quite quite hard and has said that if I get them married in the next seven days, they'll get some money. So, I mean, they're already engaged. I feel like this is a good, I feel like we should do it. I do feel like we should do it, but I'm not gonna rush into it, okay? Maybe little baby Rose can be a little flower girl if we get a girl. Please, 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 please. And I'm gonna buy her the rose that we can plant it in the garden already for baby rose. <gasps> the rose filled germinate. No, I need this. I need this so badly. Oh, and she's got strawberries in a fridge. So I'm going to get her to eat a strawberry too. I've eaten a strawberry. I've listened to pop music. I've planted a rose. I feel like everything is just going just really well. Really, really well. And look at them. Listen to little pop music. Okay, it has to be a girl. It has to be. It has to be a girl. She's also super sleepy, but I, I can't. I'm struggling to make Chris stay over. It's not giving me the option to ask him to stay over. So I'm gonna see if I can woo-woo him into staying over because I need someone to come to the hospital with me, okay? Okay, this will probably won't be her best woo-woos. She's pretty big right now and she's also very tired, but woo-woos be woo-woos. No, go to sleep here, you Egypt. Why would you even do that? You would just stay in bed. That makes no sense at all. He stayed over, so that's pretty great. I think I'll be going now. Uh, no, you won't, Chris. I've just gone into labor, so you will be going nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, wait, you're just going for a little walk. I'll be right back. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, not actually fine though, because I'm in labor. Um, we doing this, okay? We do be doing this. I am gonna have the Babalaroo uh, hospital. I'm gonna get a crib all ready to rock and roll when I get back. I also feel like this crib should be the one thing in the house that actually isn't green because I feel like the crib should be rose colored. I might just put it in here, like in front of the rose, just vibing. I know it's absolutely huge. Um, I do have this one that's also rose. It's a little bit smaller. Maybe we should go a bit more sensible with the size. Okay, I'm just gonna actually just like stick it in the middle of the living room here. And let's go have a baby at the hospital. Look at us snuggling, snuggling. In polo. You're meant to be having bubble of Okay, bring Christopher. Off you walk. Come on, forget that. I know you want a nice early morning frosty Christmas walk, but I'm pushing out a child. So come on. <gasps> what? What? What has happened? Where is the hospital? Why am I all the way over here? Is this the hospital? Oh my 
my gosh. Why am I so far away? Where, where am I? Where is Chris Driveners? What is this place? I don't even know. As long as I can have a normal birth, I'll be happy. Okay. And okay, Chris is here. And he is panicking. I'm panicking about where we are. This is just very strange and disturbing, but okay. I'm at least checked in. Okay, Chris. Chris, let's get a move on. Wait, where am I giving birth? Which one is it? Which one is it? Chris, I can't control him. Usually I get to at least control the fathers. Is he joining? No, he's, he's off to go and play receptionist. Chris, what are you doing? Has he like literally lost it that much that like his brain is reset and he's like, why am I here? All right, I must work here. I'll just sit and answer the phone. Chris, no, come join me. I'm giving birth right now. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Doctor, oh my gosh, he's called Derek DeSnoo. Well, that feels very Grey's Anatomy and looks very Grey's Anatomy. Is this a Grey's Anatomy reference? Is McDreamy here right now? Is McDreamy uh, giving my child the chance to escape my womb? I think so. Is Chris still just on the phone? Yeah, Chris is Chris is working reception. Okay, um, I can't do anything about that, but it's fine because me and McDreamy will get through this together. And girl, okay guys, girl, 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 girl. Please be a girl, please be a girl, please be a girl, please be a girl. I also want Derek's number. <gasps> It's a girl! Yes, nailed it. Thank you guys for telling me about the pop music thing because I totally forgot and I thought it was just strawberries. Okay, for now, I'm just going to go with rose, roseberry. And then if we want to do a change later on, like we did with mint and Lindsay, then we can do. We can maybe find rose in another language. But rose is a actual name in English. Like, people are called rose. So I kind of like this. And we've got ourselves a little baby rose. No, what's happening? Why? 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 No! I wanted just one! One child! Now I have two? At least they're two girls. I mean, we did listen to a lot of pop music and we ate a strawberry. I really didn't want two though. I was liking only controlling one sim. It's really annoying controlling three sims. Okay, I can't do anything about it. It is what it is. This is what the sim gods have provided. I'm gonna go for Rosie. And then maybe we'll pick our favorite and that one will continue the lineage. If there's another one, Derek, you're taking it home because I'm not. Okay, two. We had twins. We've had twins. I have one crib. I have one crib. And here are our two floating children. One of them has tights on and the other has no tights. That's the difference between the two. That is how we'll tell them apart. Who's got tights? Rosie has tights and Rose doesn't have tights. And there we go, guys. We have twins. Please let me move Christopher in or else my life is about to get really, really hard. We need to buy another crib. How am I gonna fit? These babies, like, do they not realize I've got a whole tiny house vibe going on here? Insufficient funds. Okay, so. Rose. Which one's Rose? Wait, they've both got tights on now. Which one are you? Who are you? I don't know. Okay, this one gets the crib. This one gets the chair. There you go. You get the chair. You get the crib. Yay, it's that wonderful sound, guys. Oh, wait, I can't hear it. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. It's babies everywhere crying all up in my kitchen, which was so quaint and cute until now. Chris, get in and help out right now. We have twins. I did not want this, but it is what it is. Let's at least try and make the most of what we've got. We will have to work out whether we want to continue with Rosie or Rose, but why don't we give them until they're like teenagers to figure it out? Do you want me to move Christopher into the house? Please, please, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of our Not So Berry Challenge and I will see you guys in another one. Bye!